Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my monthly introduction to essential oil class. I do have a weekly class, but I always do this introduction to essential oils one-on-one. -on -one. Um, every month, usually the first Wednesday. Uh, I will see you here in the interwebs every Wednesday at three o'clock for my virtual classes. Uh, some classes that are coming up, we've got essential oils for pets. I'm really excited about that one. <clears throat> Excuse me, and essential oils for chakras. That one's coming up this month too, as well as essential oils for a cleaner, safer home. So today I'm going to introduce you to our most essential oil, uh, most popular essential oils. Hi, Steph. And um, happy Fourth of July. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's rainy over here at home, and we are just having a very relaxing Fourth of July. Um, so. My name is Lindsay Iamarino, and I am an essential oil educator and team leader with doTERRA International. I am also an Aroma Touch certified Aroma Touch practitioner, so if you um, want a hands-on experience, I will bring the oils to you. Just let me know. I'll put my massage table in my car, and I will travel to you. So I am a lover of essential oils and all things wellness, and today I'm going to talk to you about um, the top 10 oils that will take care of about 80% of your health and wellness needs. Hi Chantal! So basically, um, we're going to go over what an essential oil really is. So it's an illiquid extract that is from a plant, a tree, a flower, a bark, um, a root, um, <clears throat> anything like that, or a citrus. So they're either made by uh, cold pressed or steam distilled. Most of our citruses come from the rind and they are cold pressed and um, most of our other uh, plant-based oils, all of our plant, all of our oils are plant-based, uh, come from the flower, the leaf, um, the root, like I was saying before. So one of um, the reasons why doTERRA is better, <laughs> that's what I like to think, is that they're certified pure therapeutic grade and not all essential oils are made equal. So when um, we talk about essential oils taking internally, these are um, organically made and safe to take internally. Um, some are and some aren't and we'll go over the difference. As well as um, them being able to be 100% uh, plant derived with no additional processing, preservatives, or other ingredients and fillers. So if you go to um, other stores, whole, um, I'm not, not going to name them, but um, you'll see that everybody's jumping on the essential oil bandwagon. So, um, but they say 100% pure, Lindsay. I know they say 100% pure. Um, the oil, oils are not regulated, so people can, hi Nikki, people can basically put one drop of essential oil in a bottle and fill it with fake fragrance and fillers and you know say that it's pure um, but just read your labels if it says do not take internally and don't apply to your skin well it's lemon why wouldn't you want to eat the lemon you know you can eat a lemon why can't you put that in in your body um, because it's not pure it's a synthetic fragrance but our lemon the difference between our lemon and um, you can take it internally and you'll know that by the supplemental facts. I don't know if you can see this Facebook, and I'm on Instagram here as well. The supplemental facts. You see that on, on food. So it's a food grade label. And our other, some of our other oils are just topical and aromatically. And the way you can tell is that um, there is no supplemental facts. So this is for Instagram. There's no supplemental facts on that. So that's the difference. Um, if you have a food grade supplemental facts label, you can take it internally. If you don't, you don't. And I will always be here for you to guide you and educate you and make sure that you're going in the right direction. That's what I'm here for. So um, a few reasons to love essential oils, you know, natural alternatives and their natural remedies to chemically filled products. Um, I mean, uh, and uh, they're easy solutions so you can access them from your home, uh, pennies per drop, uh, for fast results, almost immediate results. So quality is everything. Like I was saying, they're not all created equal. Do your research before buying your oils on Amazon or in any other stores. 
and I'm always here to educate you. So if you have any questions, always reach out to me. Um, doesn't matter what kind of question it is. You know, if you're not familiar, you're not familiar, and that's what I'm here for, to educate you. So um, our oils are ultra concentrated, so a little goes a long way. So in our bottles, we have 15 milliliter bottles. There's 250 drops in this bottle, and it's one drop per serving, depending on what you're doing with it. If you're gonna take it internally, it's one drop. Uh, if you're going to make a little blend, that's what I'm gonna explain to you about. We make um, how we extend our um, oils economically is by educating you on how to make roller blends. Uh, shout out to the Root and Petal. We love Becky at the Root and Petal. Um, these are high quality roller blends. And this one I just made a few uh, a while ago. This is just my all uh, fancy serum for my skin. I don't know if you can see that. I put little stickers on it just to remember what's on it. So we got frankincense, lavender, and melaleuca. And a carrier oil that I like to use for my face is different from our normal fractionated coconut oil, but that's what the oilers, um, us oilers, like to use uh, regularly. Um, it's just uh, easier to blend your blends together and it's kind of like when you just put one drop of oil on your skin, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's not gonna carry, right? So when you use your carrier oil and you um, dilute your blends, dilute your oils into your specific blends for your specific needs, you it's kind of like a time released. So it just kind of um, time release and carries through into your blood system because your um, skin is what? Your largest organ, I always say that. So your largest organ. So you wanna be more conscious about what you're putting on your skin as well. So <clears throat> we have, it takes 45 lemons, 45 lemons to go in our um, bottle of lemon. And our peppermint, it takes one drop equates to 28 cups of peppermint, one drop. So I'm going to show you one of the three ways that we use essential oils. The first way is um, <clears throat> aromatically. So you can diffuse them and you can also, um, do palm inhales, which I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna take, I'm gonna do peppermint, and one drop of peppermint, and one drop of our wild orange, and I will go over the benefits of our wild orange as well. It's our promotion this month. One drop, oh, I think I'm at the last drop, okay. So then you're just gonna rub, 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 rub. If you have oils, go ahead and do this with me. And just do three deep inhalations. And this is how you would use your oil, any oil, um, to get to any type of emotional wellness points that you need. So there's oils for uplifting and that are invigorating and there's oils for different emotions because emotions um, come and go and we all have them and these will help um, uplift, uplift your specific emotion. There's uh, all oils have emotional background and they all have emotional balancing properties. So you just do three deep inhalations. Hi, Karen. And that is a palm inhale for aromatically using your oils. Another way to use your oils is topically. And when I was um, explaining before, you can use them in a blend and I will show you how to um, educate you on how to make a blend for your specific needs. Needs This one is for skin and then this one I've made for bruises. My Marker starting to come off. Oh, I just smeared it again. So this is a specific blend for bruises because I bruise easily. So I made a blend for that. So you can do a blend just for just about everything. And we're going to go over some other ways as well. So the third way to use your essential oils is in. Hi Paige. Oh Paige, I didn't see you, honey. I got two. I got um, Instagram and Facebook here. So <clears throat> I'm just bouncing back and forth trying to make sure I get everybody's uh, read everybody's comments. So, the last way to take your essential oils is internally. And by internally, you can um, place them underneath your tongue, specific ones. Don't go and just get oils and start putting them under your tongue because Lindsay said so, please don't do that. Um, uh, but there are some that you can place underneath your tongue that you can get like the full effect of it. You can use them um, in, your, in your water. So I have a drink here, but say this was water, you always wanna put, if you are putting them in your water, you always wanna use glass or stainless steel because the, <clears throat> the essential oils are very 
um, concentrated. So they will eventually eat through the plastic over time. And people are like, well, what is it gonna do to my stomach? I'm like, it's plastic. Your stomach can absorb plants. These are all made from plants, pure, uh, no fillers, none of that stuff. So it's not gonna eat your stomach away. Um, it will help you, it will help your stomach actually. Um, so you can take them internally in your water. I use a lot of lemon in my water. You can also um, cook with them. So we use oregano a lot, we use black pepper, we have different herb, herb oils. Um, and you can also, if you're making, say you're coming down with something or you're not feeling well, you have a little tickle in your throat or um, just you wanna get your oils internally, you would use a veggie capsule. So these are just empty veggie capsules, it's pretty cool. You can make your own little concoction you can see that Facebook here whoop there you are and you just put your drops of you know and I will go over you know if you want to get started I will go over a specific oil protocol and show you how to take them internally and then you just take your veggie capsule that's it oils made simple they're not overwhelming very very simple and that's why I'm here to help you um, also I wanted to mention that if you are on and watching live and you share my live feed on either Instagram or Facebook. Hi, Damaris! Um, you will be entered into a free giveaway for this class as well. So if you comment that you're here live and that you comment that you have shared, you will be entered in to uh, win a free gift. So that's exciting as well. So some safety tips for oils. You will want to never put oils directly in your ears. Never put oils directly in your eyes not up your nose. Um, if you do get them in your eye, get oils in your eyes, do not run to water because oil and water, it just uh, intensifies it. And if you get accidentally get peppermint in your eye, like I have, um, it's not fun. So uh, what you would run to is your fractionated coconut oil. What you make your blends with for the rollers, you would go to your fractionated coconut oil, just put um, a smidge on and rub in your eyes and it will dilute and um, calm it down. So um, if you don't have your fractionated coconut oil around, there's um, several other different types of uh, carrier oils that you can use. Um, so if you're in your kitchen and you can't reach it, grab your olive oil and just slather it on there. You'll be fine. Olive oil is good for the skin anyway. So um, you can, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we went through internal, okay. We went through in, uh, internal oils for the supplemental facts as well. So we're gonna go over the single oils that are our most popular oils. And the first oil I love is frankincense. This is our frankincense. Shout out to Share Oils for our little dropper tops. This is like my liquid gold. So I like to, cause they come with the regular little caps and the orifice on there. So it comes out, um, you know, drop by drop so you don't um, spill your liquid gold. I like to use these little droppers from Share Oils. These are really, really super convenient and easy. And um, shareoils.com, that's where it's at. All your essential oil accessory needs, right there. Um, so Melaleuca uh, Frankincense, it's the Cadillac of oils. It's an enhancer oil, so it, I always put at least one drop in any blend that I'm doing because it's an enhancer oil. It enhances all the other oils and kind of boosts them. Um, it's very, very good for anxious feelings. So this is one of the oils that I actually take in the morning um, and as needed. Uh, two drops, this is why I have my dropper top on it because it's very easy, under the tongue. Now, like I said before, don't go and run to an oil you got somewhere else and put it underneath your tongue because I can't vouch for them but I will vouch for me. Um, so the frankincense I put right underneath my, my tongue for anxious feelings. It has anti-inflammatory benefits and um, promotes, promotes cellular health. It's a cellular rejuvenating oil. And basically when in doubt, frank it out. Um, so that's a very good oil to start off with. Our next I'm gonna go over is peppermint. One of my favorites, especially for the summertime, because it promotes cooling, it's very cooling. So I've actually, um, where did I put it? I have upcycled, let me grab it. One of my other peppermint bottles, I think I showed this to you guys last week. I feel like I have dog hair all over me, I have four chihuahuas, it's like all over. 
I always feel like I have dog hair on me. Um, Chihuahua glitter, right? Paige knows what I'm talking about. She's got Chi Chi's. So I up um, upcycled one of my old peppermint bottles because I go through a lot of oils because that's my lifestyle. Um, and I again, they also have little like they have the droppers. They also have little sprayers that can fit right on your 15 ml bottle. So I just added a few uh, more drops of peppermint, maybe like five to ten, whatever you're feeling, because it's super strong. And then filled it with water. And this has been like my lifesaver for the summer. I know, mind blown, right? So it's very, very good for the um, for cooling in the summertime. Um, if your little ones have a high te a high body um, temperature, you can make a blend, make a little roller. Um, for children, you have to dilute, and I will go over, whenever you get started, we will go over a dilution a chart for children, babies, and adults. Um, so there's a specific percentage of uh, 10 milliliter that you can put oils in, a 10 milliliter, 10 milliliter roller bottle, and um, you fill it with your carrier oil and you just swipe up and down the spine until the high um, number comes down. So that is very, very easy, uh, very, very easy. You always have your oils on hand for emergencies. So there's oil protocols for 80% of your health and wellness. And that's what I'm here for, to introduce to you and show you that there's options. You don't always have to run. Now I'm saying if, if, the, if it's high, high, and it's like bad, go to the ER with your babies. <laughs> um, but if someone's just not feeling good or they got something from school, um, it's a really good, uh, essential oil to have on hand. Also, it helps uh, head and neck tension. So if you're having head and neck tension, 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 you can put on your um, temples, on the back of your neck, and that will soothe. Um, peppermint is just like a little massage in a bottle too. Um, it's very cooling and invigorating. It's good for fatigue. So if you have mental fogginess, um, it's good for uh, alert and focus. You just do the palm inhale like I showed you before. One drop is all you need. A little goes a long, a long way. <clears throat> and, oh, excuse me, need another sip. So it will, um, it's energizing and invigorating for alertness and um, mental fog. Helps, helps fatigue when it's inhaled, doing the palm inhale. And that's that about peppermint. We're gonna go on to Melaleuca, which is our tea tree. And peppermint is also an oil that you can take internally. Um, you could take it in a veggie capsule or you can apply it right to your tummy if you're having any types of um, tummy issues. Digestive, uh, motion sickness, anything like that. Overindulging in food. Um, it's definitely gonna be an oil that I'll be taking next week when we go on our cruise. So the Melaleuca is next. It's our tea tree, if you can see. Um, it is also an internal oil. It is very, very good for um, cleansing the skin and uh, rejuvenating. Very good for cleansing and rejuvenating the skin. Now, I'm gonna be an open book. I have eczema that is a specific type of dermatitis that's like right under the first layer of skin. So my body itself, if it's exposed to something that has bacteria, like uh, when we lived in Orlando, we went to like a little outfield um, where kids were playing baseball and stuff and I sat down with shorts and the back of my legs just blew up. Um, I'm having issues right now because we have, we're doing renovation through the house. Walls are being ripped down, there's crap everywhere. And it also could be the summertime and the weird, you know, pollen that's in the air. But my face here has been really uh, bad with the eczema. So this just dries it right up. And I also use it for my zit zapper. One little spot, so I, I know I have one over here, I won't show you. But this is how I use it. And I, I don't even use a whole drop, I just use a little bit. So I take my bottle like this, I just go like that, and then I put it right on there. And it starts drying, drying it up within like 24 hours. Best thing ever. So um, it's also disinfecting disinfecting, antiviral, anti-defunking anti anything. If your trash smells bad, you can put a couple of drops on a cotton ball and stick it underneath your trash can. If your garbage disposal is starting to stink up, defunk it with a couple of drops of tea tree. You can also wash your uh, washing machine with uh, where you would put the um, fabric softener in your uh, washing machine. You put, fill it up with uh, vinegar, distilled white vinegar, 
which is like number one household product in my house, um, with a few drops of our tea tree, our Melaleuca, disinfecting, defunking, washing machine, done. If you forgot your clothes in there, you can rewash them again, put a couple of drops of, of tea tree, good to go. So it's got, um, it's very versatile. Our, all of our oils have multi um, uses for them, so they're very, very versatile. That's why these are um, the most popular top 10 in our most popular kit. Um, let's go to lemon, um, one of my favorites. I was telling you, you can take lemon internally in your water. Um, it's very cleansing to the air, you can diffuse it. Um, it, like who wouldn't want your kitchen to smell like lemon? So I have a diffuser right next to my sink in my kitchen and I fill that up every morning uh, with all the other ones, but I fill that one up with lemon because I like my kitchen to smell like fresh lemon. Um, it's naturally detoxifying and really good for your digestive system when you're drinking it in your water. So I have a, um, an at-home water jug that I keep and then I have a travel water jug that I keep and I fill them both up in the morning. Um, just in case I need to grab the to-go one and I fill them up with about five drops because they're they're pretty big um, Five drops of lemon and then once it goes down because the lemon water and oil, you know It doesn't mix so it's gonna stay right on the top of the oil. So you just give your bottle a little zhuzh every time you um, take a sip and then you will um, hi Maggie and then you can um, fill your water back up because the lemon residue, once the water goes down, your lemon residue is gonna um, hold on to the sides of your bottle and it will still be there. So you don't need to add really any more. You've had your drops for the day. Um, so that's what I do with my lemon. Um, it cleanses and purifies when it's diffused. So it's really good for diffusing. Like I said, I put it in my kitchen. And then uh, for an irritated throat, which I might do in a little bit because I'm feeling a little like, I don't know, down, I guess, because it's rainy, and I don't know. So I'm. you could put it in honey. So if someone has a little um, irritated or tickled throat, you can uh, do a tablespoon of honey in a spoon and a drop of lemon, and it soothes it, soothes, soothes the, the throat. Um, also sticky residue, if you have little ones that are writing on your walls or you, um, go to TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls and you get like a, a decorative, you know, something for your house and you have that sticker that's stuck on there, you just put a couple of drops on there, let it sit for a few minutes and it comes right off. Any type of sticky residue. Also for the little ones, gum. It helps getting gum out of hair so you don't have to chop your baby's hair. <laughs> um, also, um, what else is lemon good for? That's about it. That's like several different uses. They're all really versatile. Then we're gonna go to lavender. After I'm done with lavender, I'm gonna tell you um, about three oils combined, what they're really good for. Um, so lavender is um, also an internal oil and it has the supplemental facts that I went over and it's all things calming. Very good for anxious feeling and uh, anxious feelings and su supports sleep. Very good um, restful sleep. You could diffuse it in your diffuser. You could do a palm inhale. You can place it on the bottom of your bottom of your feet, and you're ready to go to sleep and relax and have an, uh, an awesome sleep. Um, it's great for skin support, like like the Melaleuca is. Um, if you have a cut, burn, or you know some type of ouchy for the little one, I would go to our Melaleuca, our tea tree oil, to cleanse and clean and then layer it with the lavender um, that it will um, soothe and help the skin recover very quickly, like within 24 hours quickly. Um, it promotes restful sleep and eases um, muscle tension as well. So that has, I mean, there's so many other different uses for lavender too, but I'll be here all day telling you about lavender. It is the gateway oil. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about lemon Melaleuca, which is our tea tree, and lavender. These three oils together are a natural antihistamine. So um, it's that time when you have the pollen in the air and um, you're sniffling and all of that good stuff. You can take these three and replace them from your over-the-counter medications. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, so you would take a drop or two in a veggie capsule in the morning to as proactive preventative care um, and you'll be good to go. I also do um, in the morning 
a drop of lemon in my tea and lavender in my tea if I'm feeling um, those you know seasonal threats and at night I love to do a drop of lavender in my sleepy time tea which really helps promote restful sleep it's, it's really really good so there are so many different uses so I'm gonna go to our big guns for immune support which is our oregano and if you have heard of oil of oregano before I got into oils I was trying to take the steps to you know more natural alternatives and I was taking um, oil of oregano when I would get sick instead of always running to the doctors to get a uh, prescription. So oregano here is one of the big guns. If you're coming down with something, you're not feeling good at all, it's an internal oil. But oregano, alert, 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 write this down, um, is a hot oil. You never ever want to just put it under your tongue like I said frankincense. And that's why I was telling you don't go and run to any other oil. And, and put them under your tongue. Um, it's an herbaceous oil. Oregano is an herb. It's very, very hot. It's very herbaceous and it's super ultra concentrated. And it's not something that you would wanna diffuse either because it's really, really strong. Like I don't even wanna smell it right now. It's not like you could smell it anyway. <laughs> so how you would take this is in a veggie capsule. And I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna take it because I've been, I don't know, I've been feeling kinda like weird. And I'm, I'm looking at my face here and I took a picture of my skin because I'm doing something like a thing with my skin with one of my blends. And I feel like this over here, let me, if you comment if you're on here, does this look a little swollen compared to here? Like over here is feeling a little weird to me. I'm feeling like this is a little bit swollen. How about over here? Look, definitely on Facebook you can tell that, all right, now that, that's more straight, but this is swollen right here. So I'm not sure. But this is the before, people, and I'm gonna tell you, I'll post my, my face again in a few days um, after I'm gonna you know, do some oil protocol. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my oregano. I'm gonna mix up some, some oils right now just to show you how I take an oil internally. Um, and so since I'm having this, maybe I'm coming down with something or something may have, hey Heather, um, your lavender roller is on its way, girl. I don't know if you got it yet. I hope you're using it. Hope you love it. Um, so I'm not sure if maybe I'm coming down with something. Nothing, I mean, it feels weird, but I don't have a toothache or anything. I don't have a sore throat. So I'm going to concoct a little concoction. Um, I like to call it my immune bomb. Um, and I'm going to use oregano, which we just went over is uh, our big guns for our immune system. I'm going to use melaleuca because it's very good for immune support as well. Lemon is very cleansing to the body, so I'm gonna use that. I'm going to use frankincense because as I said before, it's an enhancer oil and it's cellular rejuvenating. Um, and don't think that this is a lot because I'm only doing two drops of each. And I wouldn't recommend this to you as a first time oiler, but if you've been taking oils internally, sure. A lot of people recommend no more than 24 drops a day. Um, if, you, if I'm feeling very, very ill, which I haven't really, um, I wouldn't mind going more than that if needed but I wouldn't recommend that. And um, I would also recommend um, diluting it with a fractionated coconut oil if you're a first timer. I'm not, so that's, this is what I'm going to make. But don't, um, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I'm also gonna use a fifth oil that I'm going to talk about next um, after the oregano. So the oregano is hot oil. It's been gun, big, the big guns for immune support. It's support, support, can't talk. Um, always dilute because it's very, very skin sensitive since it is a hot oil. And it's an excellent source of antioxidants. And you can cook with this too. So if you're making Sunday sauce, you can do, um, what I do is I take a toothpick and you see the little circle orifice in the center. I just put the toothpick right in there. You don't wanna put one whole drop because it depends on how much sauce you're actually um, making. You just do a toothpick swirl in the sauce, perfect amount. If you do one or two, you know, you do one and it accidentally does two, your whole sauce is messed up. So the fifth oil that I'm gonna add, I'm gonna show you how to make in our um, immune support bomb veggie capsule, which I'm gonna take right now because, whoopsie, butter fingers, excuse me. Okay, because I feel like my face is swollen. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of weird, so. Let's just 
take precautions here. So um, the fifth oil I'm going to use is our On Guard. Our On Guard is our um, protective blend. So we have um, wild orange, we have clove, cinnamon, uh, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And this is an internal oil. We got the supplemental facts label on there. And I'm gonna add these to um, my immune balm. It's our protective blend and it smells like the holidays. So it smells like cinnamon and stuff. It smells really good. Um, so you can diffuse this. And the good thing about diffusing is like everybody gets the benefits um, of the diffusing in your household. Your husband, your kids, your pets, all of that good stuff. Um, it supports the immune system. So that's why I'm adding it to this immune balm that I'm about to show you how to make a veggie capsule and take. And um, protect, uh, protects against environmental threats. So I take it before I'm traveling. So I've been taking On Guard every day because I'm going on a cruise next week because, and also because of this, I'm not sure what's going on. But um, I'm also going to blend a roller bottle. So I'm gonna grab a roller bottle and show you how to make one of those as well. Hold please. Hold please. Where are they? Oh, it was right next to me the whole time. Ah, I was prepared. Oh my goodness, okay. So I'm just gonna take one of my little rollers from the room pedal and I'm gonna color code because I love colors and I'm gonna do orange because orange is on guard and I am going to also make an immune roller because I'm gonna roll. I'm also gonna, I'm taking them internally but I'm also gonna roll around my jaw here because I'm not sure what's going on up in, up in here. And then I'm also gonna go up and down my spine because that's where all of your endocrine system is so that's just gonna go right into my blood system and then I'm gonna do the bottoms of my feet I'm gonna start to do this today because I'm not sure what is going on with uh, my my face I noticed it a couple days ago and I was like that just looks weird and now it's now I can really notice it since I'm staring at myself so it's bothering me a little bit and I'm going on a cruise next week so I have to make sure I'm okay so with the On Guard, um, it also, we also use uh, it in our cleaning products. So it cleans surfaces really, really well. Um, I use it in my um, all-purpose cleaner. I also use it in um, my soaps, my hand soaps, and my dish soaps. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I, um, hope you all can see this. I'm gonna do it kind of like right here because I can get that on the camera. But I'm gonna do two drops. One, two, oh, that was three accidentally. It's okay. Um, two drops of the On Guard. And then I'm gonna do two drops of the Oregano. Oregano comes out slower because it's a thicker oil. One, two, so you can actually manage it better. But see the little circle orifices, it comes out drop per drop. This one is Melaleuca Tea Tree. One, two. And Lemon. One, two. And then my frankincense, which is going to one, two. And if this is your first time, you can take your little, um, your fractionated coconut oil and just add a little bit of that to dilute it uh, for first time users. So you could do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just look, there's your veggie. How awesome is that? So cool, right? So you just give it a zhuzh and away we go. That is it. So now I'm going to make an immune bomb roller with the same oils, but I'm going to do five drops each because I want it strong. So I'm going to do, can you see? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. That one came out a little fast. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oregano is a little slower. And the On Guard. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then that's all the oil. So this is how you get more bang for your buck. You're going to economically stretch and get more bang for your buck when you di um, dilute and make little rollers. It doesn't less lessen the intensity of the oils. It just provides a carrier and it um, helps you use your oils economically. You don't want to just carry around all of these, you know, liquid gold and um, you could, this is better and safer for travel too. So 
all you do is then you just fill it with your fractionated coconut oil to the top. You're going to have your roller uh, ball. These are awesome from Becky at the Root and Petal. These are awesome because they are glass. That's how you know. I don't know if you heard the click. I do that all the time because I have plastic ones that I actually got rid of and I was tapping them to see which ones were plastic and which ones were glass. But this is glass. Stainless steel is also good too. Um, that's what the rollers come. Um, if you buy a roller from doTERRA, they're stainless steel. I just prefer the um, glass ones. So you're not gonna, when you put your roller, uh, your top on there, you don't wanna go like this because it's gonna um, unseal the ball and it will leak over time. So you're just gonna press it in just a smidge and then you take your top and just press it in there and turn all the way down and then it's all the way in. And you're good to go. And then you just give it a zhuzh. And I'm actually going to roll the first time on the back of my hand to make sure that it's coming out. And now I'm just gonna roll back here because this is the issue at hand right now. I'm gonna go on both sides just in case. I don't know if it's going to move or travel. I have always been very susceptible to, um, to um, strep throat, sore throats, um, inflamed and swollen tonsils and all that good stuff. But I've been really good since I've started with oils and I don't take antibiotics or any of that stuff. So maybe uh, last week I worked out every single day and I haven't done that in a while. So maybe I overdid it because I tweaked my neck a little bit. But I showed you guys on my stories uh, my protocol for that with our deep blue. Which, good segue, I'll go right into that, into that oil next. So that's how you take an oil internally. Uh, I'm glad I needed that because that was a really good um, sample way to show you guys how to take it internally. So now what I'll also do, so I know that this is my immune balm, I'll take my little stickers that I have on the top of my oils here. I have a whole bunch left. They, um, they actually give you a set of stickers when you first um, join. And I'll just put the stickers on the side. I also have little labels from Share Oils that have immune, so I'll know that it's my immune balm. So I'll probably be applying this um, once, maybe three times a day. So that was the afternoon. I'll probably do it before I go to bed tonight. Uh, I probably will take my oils again internally tonight, as well as uh, keep doing it three times a day. I mean, I'm gonna do it a lot because I'm going on a cruise and I don't know what this is going on right here. So, segue into our deep blue. Deep Blue is our soothing blend. Yes, who doesn't want soothing? This is, comes only comes in a 5 ml. You can see the difference between 15 and 5. Um, it has more um, investment oils in it, so it only comes in 5 ml. And in this soothing blend, it has wintergreen, camphor bark, peppermint, ylang ylang, helichrysum, blue tansy, German chamomile, and osmanthus. So this is, has some heavy hitters for aches, pains, and discomforts. So if you're feeling any discomfort on your neck, on your shoulders, elbow, joints, hip, foot, I mean anywhere, this is what you wanna put on. Now my, my recommendation for this, I mean you could put the drop right on, but there's 83 drops in the smaller bottles and there's 250 in the bigger bottles. But again, you would wanna go to your rollers, which comes in our welcome gift. Um, when you get started and um, they have a blue for deep blue color coding is you know my jam uh, makes it more fun and simple to know that this is your deep blue roller so you would take you know five to seven drops put it in your roller and then top it with your fractionated coconut oil and then you just roll it on to the areas of concern right super simple oils made simple they're not here to overwhelm you they're not here to um, confuse you by any means and that's where I come in to be here for you like your accountability partner um, and also it brings people together you know it creates relationships and friendships and I love that um, so it supports your um, soothes it supports sore muscles and achy joints so anywhere anything like that um, back or knee discomfort, just apply to any area of concern with our deep blue. So 
Our next one, let me put these back. Oregano, lemon. Our next blend, we went to Deep Blue, On Guard. Our next blend is Digest Zen. This is an internal oil because we, this, there's the label there and there is the supplemental facts. So there's the supplemental facts. <laughs> um, so this is an internal oil as well. And our Digest Zen, hence the name, is our digestive blend. And we have um, anise, peppermint, ginger, caraway, coriander, tarragon, and fennel. So it has the really good tummy tamers um, in this one for um, motion sickness, bringing it on the cruise for some people that may get motion sickness, um, car motion sickness, you know, if you're in the car. Um, if you have an ups upset stomach or you, you know, indulged in a little bit too much, um, your little one has a tummy ache, you could, um, Instead of if it's it's someone six and under or 12 and under, you don't wanna really start giving them oils internally. But again, you go to your roller bottles, you put um, five to seven drops or whatever the dilution chart is for your child, um, and that's what we'll go over. And you just fill it with fractionated coconut oil and you can apply around the belly button. For me, I just take a, a few drops and, and apply it right on because I don't need any dilution. Um, for this one, it's not a hot oil. And that's what I'll um, educate you to, which oils you want to dilute, which ones have skin sensitivity, and all that good stuff. But Digestin has been very saving my life lately because I have gone plant-based in my diet. And when your diet change changes, your digestive uh, system changes as well. So the fennel in, in the Digestin has really, really been helping me with bloating um, because I was eating a lot of raw vegetables. And when you're making that switch over, um, to be more vegan, I'm not vegan yet, I'm still making switches in my products. Uh, and I don't like the label either. Um, are you vegan? Everybody asks me, I'm like, oh, I'm plant-based. I just like, I'm plant-based with my oils, my food, it's just what I prefer for my health. Um, and animals are my friends. <laughs> That's just my, um, my view. So I don't judge anybody, don't judge my lifestyle. You know what I mean? To each their own. So anyway, the digest then you can take internally and uh, it's really been helping with um, switching over to that plant-based food diet lifestyle. So I really, really love it for that. Um, it's really been helping me. The last uh, blend that I wanna go over is Breathe. Our Breathe blend, which is our respiratory blend. This is not an internal oil, ladies and gentlemen. This is a topical and um, aromatic oil only. This is not an oil that you take internally. This is for um, your respiratory um, system. Um, it's our respiratory blend. It has um, laurel leaf, eucalyptus, peppermint, melaleuca, lemon, cardamom, and ravensara. So it supports your re respiratory system and minimizes effects of seasonal threats and nature and pollen and all that good stuff. If you have noisy sleepers, hi Mona. If you have noisy sleepers, um, this is a really good one and uh, I diffuse it as well because I get stuffy when I lay down. If you have noisy sleepers, you can diffuse this next to them, <clears throat> Frank. And uh, you can also put it on the bottoms of their big toes. It's a pressure point for, you know, that area. Um, also maintains clear airways and um, yeah, it's all things respiratory, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. So if you're interested in any of these oils that we have gone over or you know someone that may be interested in any of these oils, um, let me know, reach out to me, shoot me a message. Um, you can ask me any questions that you would like um, and we can go over specific oils um, for your specific needs. We can, you know, if you're uh, wanting to do this actual starter kit, we can do that. Um, <clears throat> this actual starter kit comes with the top 10 oils that are in the 15 ml uh, bottles, as well as our petal diffuser, which I have right here. This is our pet petal diffuser, and it comes with the top 10. And this will go for about four hours. You just open it up and you put water until the little red dot right there 
you fill it up and then you put three to five drops of essential oil of you know of your choice if you want to go to get some restful sleep you can put lavender um, and you can blend them too so it's a choose your own adventure when you're making your blends in your roller bottles you can you know choose your own adventure whatever whatever you'd like um, to blend together so I like to do lavender and the breathe it keeps your airways open and the lavender really supports a restful sleep so it comes with this um, diffuser and the top 10 you'll also get um, a pack of 10 roller bottles as our, a welcome gift as well as some fractionated um, coconut oil to get started because you want all the I want you to have all the tools that are necessary to get started on your oil journey so we also we have that one kit which is 275 and then the um, kit of, underneath of it I kind of feel like I'm starting to sound um, groggy too I don't know maybe it's because I'm just talking I don't know I'm gonna have to be my own you know have to look up some symptoms of whatever I'm having so then we have the other kit that is in I need I need all three of those ones <laughs> um, I need I have um, we have another kit that is the smaller bottle so all of them are in the 5 ml so the bigger bottle saves you about 86 bucks um, with the 15 ml they have 250 drops with the top 10 oils, you get the same oils, but just in a smaller bottle, which is 5 ml, which is about 83 drops. Um, the smaller kit does not come with the diffuser, but it comes with peppermint and on guard little beadlets. So they have these little beadlets. They're super cute. These are the peppermint beadlets. And it's super uh, strong. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because they're like little. Come on. There we go. They're like little itty bitty beadlets. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? So each beadlet has a fourth of a drop. I'm gonna take three just because I like a lot. But one one drop, one beadlet, people are like, oh my God, that's so strong. So you just put them in and then you bite them and pop them. And you can use this as a pick-me-upper, peppermint pick-me-upper. That's what I usually call the little palm and heels for fatigue. You can um, take them internally like this uh, for upset stom stomachs, your tummy tummy ache or something. And it's also a good breath refresher. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. That is 150. That kit is 150 to get started. But you also will get me. Yay! As your mentor, educator, supporter. Um, what else? I'll, I'll just always be there for you. We have a private Facebook community page that you'll be added to that has the resources and you can reach out to my uh, my mentor and uh, hundreds of other like-minded individuals that love to oil, that use oils in their lifestyle. We have tons of resources, books um, that we refer to. Um, it's just, it's like a family and it is a lifestyle change and that's what I'm here to, um, to tell people about that it's you have alternatives you have a choice is what you have you have a choice um, about what it is that you're putting in and on your body um, and if you understand that and are interested in that reach out to me you can um, shoot me a message on Instagram or you can shoot me a message on Facebook um, share and like this uh, share and uh, comment if you're on live and that you have shared and you will be entered into a free to win a free gift for this class. And uh, if you know anybody that is has any of these issues that or concerns that I've gone over in the last um, almost hour, <laughs> uh, you can just have them reach out to me too. It, you know, just have them message me, and I will talk to them about their concerns. Um, that's it. If you, you know, had the choice of um, the two kits, what would you choose? Would you choose the um, bigger bottles or the smaller bottles? It's, it's up to you. Whatever you feel that you are comfortable with is what we'll go with. And if you have specific concerns, we can also um, go over other oils and we could do a custom kit. And um, that is about it. So if you are not local, 
we can, um, I will email you. If you're not local and you wanna get started and you wanna chat, you can message me and I will um, email you a Zoom link chat and I'll see you virtually. And we can um, have a little um, free wellness and oil consultation and I can recommend whatever your um, your needs are for, the, for oils and, and get started. So I hope you guys have a great 4th of July and I will see you next week, Wednesday here at three o'clock. Have a good day.